Released in 1972, The Poseidon Adventure takes you on a thrilling journey aboard a luxury ocean liner that meets a catastrophic fate. As the ship capsizes, a diverse group of passengers must navigate through perilous obstacles to escape their submerged prison. Brace yourself for a roller coaster of emotions as this disaster film packs a punch with a mix of funny, shocking, and heart wrenching moments. Wondering how this classic has left its mark on others? Share your personal story of how the Poseidon Adventure has inspired or impacted your life. Stay tuned for some fascinating trivia and anecdotes about the movie. Did you know that some scenes were so intense that the actors genuinely feared for their safety? Now we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the Poseidon Adventure? Drop your stories and memories in the comments below. Keep watching for more insights into this iconic film. Erwin Allen's 1972 film, The Poseidon Adventure, directed by Ronald Neem, stands as a noteworthy entry in the disaster movie genre. Featuring a stellar ensemble cast, including Gene Hackman, Ernest Borgnine, Shelley Winters, Stella Stevens, Jack Albertson, Red Buttons, Roddy McDowell, Carol Lindley, Pamela Sue Martin, Eric Shee, Arthur O'Connell, Leslie Nielsen, the movie revolves around the catastrophic events that unfold on the supersized ocean liner as Poseidon. The narrative begins with the cruise ship en route to Athens, with passengers joyously anticipating New Year's Eve celebrations. However, the atmosphere takes a dire turn when a colossal tidal wave strikes, leading to the capsizing of the vessel. Captain Harrison, portrayed by Leslie Nielsen, and the bridge crew meet a tragic end, thrusting the surviving passengers into a perilous situation. Led by Reverend Frank Scott, played by the B after winning Gene Hackman, a disparate group of survivors embarks on a challenging journey. Their goal is to ascend to the engine room and propeller shaft, facing various obstacles such as explosions, flooding, and the continuous destruction of the ship. Notable performances include Shelley Winters, who earned a Best Supporting Actress nomination for her role, and Red Buttons, among others. The film's production design and visuals, which garnered an Academy Award, contribute to its overall excellence. The morning after, the theme song secured an Oscar for Best Song. The Poseidon Adventure received further recognition with nominations for Best Art Direction Set Decoration, Best Cinematography, Best Costume Design, Best Film Editing, Best Music, Best Sound, and a Special Achievement Award for Visual Effects. Gene Hackman's standout performance, coupled with a gripping narrative and cinematic techniques, positions the movie as a highly watchable classic. It resonates as a compelling disaster film, showcasing the resilience of a group facing adversity in the midst of chaos. In conclusion, The Poseidon Adventure remains a milestone in the disaster movie genre, appreciated for its captivating storytelling and outstanding ensemble cast. Shelley Winters, known for her role in the film, enjoyed playing gin rummy between takes. To keep her engaged, Jack Albertson, who portrayed her on-screen husband, would join her in the game. According to Ernest Borgnine, Albertson managed to win $260,000 from Winters, yet he never received payment for his victories. Stella Stevens, cast as Linda Rogo, revealed in an interview that Irwin Allen, the director, discouraged her from reading the Poseidon adventure novel. Allen wanted the film's version of Linda to be likable, as the character was disliked in the book. This directive influenced Stevens' portrayal of Linda in the movie. In a 26 interview, Stella Stevens praised director Ronald Neen, describing him as wonderful, amazing, and talented. Despite the challenging nature of the work, she emphasized the fun atmosphere on set. Stevens also highlighted Neem's charitable acts, mentioning how he attended autograph luncheons to sign pictures for fans, donating the proceeds to his favorite charity. The cast, including Stella Stevens, appreciated Neem's humor and dedication, making their collaboration enjoyable. These insights provide a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the Poseidon Adventure, showcasing the camaraderie among the actors and the unique directorial approach of Ronald Neem. Upon receiving a cable telegram in the Shelby stateroom, Robin's abrupt reaction causes his plastic model of the SS Poseidon to capsize. This incident foreshadows the tumultuous events that unfold in the movie. Despite their on-screen romance, Red Buttons and Carol Lindley harbored intense dislike for each other during filming. They maintained distance off-camera, only interacting when the cameras rolled. 
Ironically, they later developed a close friendship, attending the world premiere of Poseidon together alongside Pamela Sue Martin at Mann's Chinese Theater in May 2006. During filming, approximately 125 stunt people contributed to the movie's action sequences without any fatalities or injuries. This collection of behind-the-scenes details sheds light on the dynamics and challenges faced during the production of the film, offering intriguing insights into the making of Poseidon Adventure. Exterior shots of the Poseidon were filmed using a detailed miniature based on the Queen Mary's blueprints displayed at the Los Angeles Maritime Museum. The real Queen Mary is nearby in Long Beach. The iconic interior capsizing scene was shot in two stages, with a hydraulically controlled set tilted at 45 degrees, then redressed and tilted further for completion. The portrayal of mid-ocean rogue waves in the film aligns with a 2004 study revealing their occurrence happening more frequently than previously believed based on satellite radar images. These behind-the-scenes facts add depth to the film's production, showcasing the meticulous model work and innovative filming techniques employed. The Los Angeles Maritime Museum's display allows enthusiasts to appreciate the craftsmanship behind the exterior shots. The ingenuity in creating the dramatic capsizing scene is revealed, emphasizing the meticulous planning and execution involved. Additionally, the film's portrayal of rogue waves aligns with scientific findings, underscoring its relevance even beyond the cinematic realm. In summary, the production of the Poseidon Adventure involved detailed model work and innovative filming techniques as seen in the exterior shots and the iconic capsizing scene. Scientific accuracy in depicting rogue waves adds an intriguing layer to the film's narrative, connecting it to real-world phenomena. These insights offer a deeper understanding of the film's creation and its connection to both cinematic and scientific realms. Pamela Sue Martin, in the 2006 DVD commentary, mentioned keeping her red sandals post-filming. The actors themselves performed nearly all stunts, with physical challenges prompting complaints to the production staff. Despite the difficulties, the authenticity added to the film's impact. Following its theatrical run, ABC secured broadcast rights for one million, setting a record at the time. It initially aired in the standard three television ratio, it was later restored to its original widescreen format, preserving the director's intended vision. This straightforward information sheds light on behind-the-scenes aspects, including the actor's involvement in stunts and the financial success of the broadcast rights deal. It underscores the film's enduring appeal and its journey from the big screen to television, providing valuable context to its historical significance. The Poseidon Adventure, a notable film from 1972, holds several intriguing behind-the-scenes details. The Academy Award-winning song, The Morning After, sung by René Armand, was dubbed over Carol Lindley's vocal. Interestingly, while waiting for Reverend Scott, Mr. Rogo humorously suggests singing Nearer, My God to Thee, a song associated with sinking ships like the SS Valencia and the RM's Titanic. In a 1994 interview, Stella Stevens revealed her initial aversion to working with Shelley Winters due to a past negative experience. However, their collaboration on the Poseidon Adventure turned out well as Winters, who had overcome personal challenges, contributed positively to the production. This sheds light on the dynamics among the cast members and their ability to overcome previous conflicts for the sake of the film. Additionally, the song choice and references in the film add layers of historical and cultural significance. The use of Nearer, My God, to thee connects the movie to maritime history, enriching its narrative with real-world associations. These insights contribute to a deeper understanding of the film's production, revealing the meticulous decisions made regarding music and casting. The behind-the-scenes details underscore the collaborative efforts that went into creating the Poseidon Adventure, showcasing how the film became more than just a cinematic experience.